Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's tutorial, I will demonstrate you that how can you do shield designs in Inkscape 1.0. So let's continue with today's tutorial. So first of all, if your Inkscape preview isn't appearing like this, then go to view and select it to custom. Again go to view, go to show and hide and make sure that all of these options must be turned on. Then go to file. Select the document properties, select the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Change the width of your page to 1280 and height to 720 pixels. Then simply left click on this cross icon like this. Now the presence of two menus is very important in Inkscape for each and every project. The first one is fill and stroke menu, simply left click on this icon and second one is align and distribute menu, simply left click on this icon. And you can see that both of these menus are appearing on the right side of your screen. Then left click on this icon which says zoom to fit page in windows like this. Then select create stars and polygon tool with the left click of mouse. Then first of all left click on this cross icon and it will reset all the shape parameters to default. Then left click on this icon which says regular polygon and select the number of corners to 6. Set the rounded value to 0 and randomized value to also 0. Then hold down the control key on your keyboard. Then hold down the left mouse button and drag your mouse in downward direction to draw a polygon like this. In this tutorial, I will specify each and every dimension so that you can easily follow every step of the tutorial. So first of all, select the selection tool with the left click of mouse and here you can see that we have the option for the width and the height. First, left click on this lock icon to lock the dimensional properties and set the value of height to 500 pixels and press enter like this. Then select edit paths by nodes tool with the left click of mouse. Then go to path and select path effects. Then scroll down and here you can see that the path effect menu is appearing on the right side of your screen. Simply left click on this menu. Then left click on this plus icon like this one. Then select the effect of corners, fillet, chamfer with the left click of mouse like this. And you can see that green colored nodes are appearing on every corner of the shape. Simply hold down your left mouse button at this node and drag it towards this corner like this. Also for this one, like this. You can see that this shape appears as a shield. We will further edit it. So hold down the left mouse button at this node and drag it towards this corner, like this. And you can see that the shield design is ready. Once you are done with the rounding corners, then go to path and select object to path. Because it is important to maintain the shape after using the path effect of corners. Now simply select this shape and press delete on the keyboard. Again select create stars and polygons tool with the left click of mouse. Then hold down the control key on your keyboard. Then hold down the left mouse button and drag your mouse in downward direction. Like this. Then again select the selection tool with the left click of mouse. And set the value of height to 500 pixels and press enter on the keyboard. Again go to path and select path effects. Then simply left click on this plus icon. And select the path effect of corners, fillet, chamfer with the left click of mouse like this. Then again select edit pass by nodes tool, then hold down the left mouse button at this node and drag it towards this corner. Also for this one, then hold down the left mouse button for this node and drag it towards this point, like this. Now hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this node and you can see that the menu will appear on your screen. Simply set the node distance to 30 and select this inverse fillet, then select modify, like this. And you can see that another shield design is ready. Again select the selection tool, then simply press delete on the keyboard, like this. Again select create stars and polygons tool with the left click of mouse, hold down the control key on your keyboard, then hold down the left mouse button and drag your mouse in downward direction, like this. Again select the selection tool with the left click of mouse, then set the value of height to 500 pixels and press enter. Again go to path and select path effects. Then left click on this plus icon and select corners. Fillet chamfer with the left click of mouse like this. Again select edit pass by nodes tool with the left click of mouse. Then drag this point up to this corner and also this node up to this corner like this. Then go to path and select object to path. Now we want to drag this node at this corner. For this purpose we have to turn on the snapping options. So turn on the snapping options by left clicking on this icon. Then left click on this icon which says snap to nodes path and intersection. Then left click on this snap to rectangle corners like this. 
then hold down your left mouse button at this node and drag it towards this point like this. Then select create rectangles and scale tool with the left click of mouse. Then hold down the control key on your keyboard. Then hold down the left mouse button and drag your mouse in this direction like this. Then select the selection tool and here you can see option for the width and the height. Simply set the value to 120 pixels and press enter. Then go to object and select transform. And you can see that the transform menu is appearing on the right side of your screen. Simply select rotate and set the value of angle to 45. Scroll down and select apply. And drag this rectangle at this point like this. To differentiate between the parts, simply change the color of rectangle to this blue color like this one. Now hold down your left mouse button at this position and drag your mouse over both of these shapes to select them. Then go to path and select union. Then again go to path and select path effects. Then left click on this plus icon. Then again left click on this corners fillet chamfer like this. Then select edit paths by nodes tool with the left click of mouse. And you can see that green colored nodes are appearing. Simply hold down your left mouse button at this node and drag your mouse cursor in this direction like this. Also for this one like this. And once you are done again go to path and select object to path. And you can see that another shield design is ready. Now let's continue with another design. So simply select the pen tool with the left click of mouse. Then left click at this corner. Then left click at this position. And again left click at this position like this then simply press enter on the keyboard like this one then select the selection tool with the left click of mouse right click on this shape and select duplicate then left click on this icon which says flip selected objects horizontally like this then hold down your left mouse button at the duplicated copy and drag it at this corner like this now hold down shift key on your keyboard and left click on this shield to select both of these shapes then go to path and select division then only select this part and press delete on the keyboard. Again hold down the shift key on your keyboard then left click on this line and again left click on this shield. Again go to path and select division. Then again select this part and press delete on the keyboard. Then again go to path and select path effects. First select this object with the left click of mouse. Then simply scroll down and left click on this icon which says add path effect. Then again left click on corners, fill it chamfer like this. Then again select edit pass by node tool with the left click of mouse. Then hold down your left mouse button at this node and drag it towards this position like this. If you want to set a specific value then simply hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this node and you can see data menu is appearing and here we have the node distance. Simply set the value to 70, select fill it then select modify. Also for this one, again hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this node and again set the node distance to 70 then select modify. Again hold down the left mouse button at this node and drag it towards this position like this. Again hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this node then simply set the node distance to 70 and again select modify and also for this one. Again hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this node and again set the node distance to 70 then select modify. Then go to path and select object to path. Sometimes it will show you a zoomed in version. So if you want to reset the view then simply left click on this icon which says zoom to fit page in windows like this. And this is for today's tutorial. If you think that this video helps you in some way then please like and subscribe the channel and share your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.